I uh, have recently been going through my uh, books through my library, uh, trying to clear out uh, some of the accumulated uh, mass. I have thousands of books, both in my office and at home, and um, thinking that eventually I will either retire or die. Well, the second will certainly happen, and the first is quite likely to happen at some as yet unforeseeable point. Uh, and rather than leave too much in the hands of those who succeed me, I've been trying to clean up some of the, uh, the old books, donate what I uh, don't really need or want, and distribute um, some of the books that I have. And in the process of going through all of these, uh, I ran across a science fiction book that played a big part in my own thought as an adolescent. Uh, one of, still one of my favorite science fiction novels, Fred Saberhagen's Berserker. And what interests me about this book, aside from the fact that it is well, well written and a really interesting and compelling fiction, is the view that it presents of artificial intelligence. Um, this is a sort of a novel. It was actually published as a series of short stories and it's woven together by a commentary by a historian from an alien race. And the essence of the story concerns a, a, a hyper-intelligent machine running robot appendages um, known as berserkers to human beings. This hyper-intelligent machine was at some point in the past developed by a race known only as the Builders at war with another race called the Red Race. And the Builders designed this piece of artificial intelligence to attack and destroy their enemy. And it was programmed to destroy organic life and set loose in the realm of the Red Race. And it did eventually wipe out the Red Race. But then, in a manner evocative of the Sorcerer's Apprentice, it turned on its own makers, on the builders, and wiped them out as well. The stories in Berserker concern the struggle of humanity against this artificial intelligence, which had the programmed intent of wiping out all organic life. Now, the things that are really interesting to me about this book are first the view that it presents of artificial intelligence and its relationship to motivation and goals. We normally see in the literature on threats of AI, uh, as in, say, The Matrix, artificial intelligence as having its own goals, as desiring to perpetuate itself, to replace humanity, or to subordinate humanity. Now, I think the problem with that is that it reverses the relationship between motivation and intelligence. Intelligence, properly understood, is a strategy of evolved organic beings to perpetuate themselves and to realize their own biologically developed goals and interests. Um, to steal a phrase from Schopenhauer, intelligence comes out of will. It comes out of a life force, a desire to move forward, to uh, maintain one's own existence. And it isn't the case that you get 
will from intelligence that is problem solving by itself does not create motivation machines regardless of how intelligent they may be would not have any motivation if a machine desires to promote itself to perpetuate itself to or even to survive we would have to ask where does it get this desire and you know of course one answer is that human beings could in theory program into a machine the desire to perpetuate itself but of course we'd have to ask then why would it want to do that uh, intelligence does not create desire it does not create sexual desire it does not create um, any kind of self-interest any kind of wish for anything intelligence by itself is only a strategy for getting things done now I think that the real possibility of a danger of artificial intelligence does not come from machines wanting to place hu replace human beings but from a programming error as uh, is dramatically pro uh, portrayed in Berserker that is human beings creating a machine that works back against them not because the machine itself has any desire but because of a programming malfunction now the second and broader point of interest for me is that as a social scientist one of my interests is always in unintended consequences in almost all policies and social decisions we can see unintended consequences of almost anything we do and the real danger from artificial intelligence would not come from machines deciding to replace us but from artificial intelligence but from unintended consequences of programming that we cannot completely understand or foresee now uh, I'll leave with a recommendation that this book is if you're interested at all in science fiction or in the idea of artificial intelligence or more broadly in the relationship between intelligence and organic life you might want to look back at this 1967 book Berserker by Fred Saberhagen.